Welcome everyone. This video provides an update on the Wake Bus Rapid Transit station design process. Let's get started. The station design process began in fall 2020. After collecting public feedback, the project team began working to come up with initial concepts. From fall 2020 until now, multiple workshops have been held with municipal partners, including Town of Cary, Town of Garner, Go Triangle, Campo, and NCDOT. With their help, the project team has developed the current design concepts, which you'll see today. Please take any of the live corridor surveys to provide your feedback on the current designs. Back when this process started in the fall, a station design survey asked participants what they visually preferred for station design. The majority liked a modern look with more natural materials, including masonry and wood. There was also positive feedback for sleek materials, such as glass and steel. A few themes began to emerge from the public feedback. People wanted the design to be functional and unique. Using this feedback, the project team began working to design BRT stations. With stakeholder feedback and ongoing coordination with municipal partners, the Town of Cary and Town of Gardner, the design team developed a conceptual design for BRT stations. Each station will feature a large vertical bold element for signage and graphics, so the station can be easily seen and recognized. The stations are also designed with modular sections and can easily accommodate all station design sizes. The public and stakeholders had previously said location specific design was something important to consider. So there are various station designs and elements that are customizable to make them context specific. There are six different types of BRT stations. Each type has been designed based on the context of six general areas that encompass Wake County. These station types are urban core, intermodal, split island, shared median, suburban, and peripheral. The shared median station type will not be used on Newburn, but might be needed for the other BRT corridors. For example, the Wilmington Street Station in downtown Raleigh will be the urban core type. Transit riders will seamlessly step from the downtown sidewalk into the station. This station is larger to handle the highest expected ridership. The station at Corporation will be the peripheral type and will be smaller in comparison to the urban station. No matter the station type, all stations will have amenities such as seating, digital signage and off-board ticketing, ADA accessible boarding, weather protection, emergency safety phones, and art integration. The project team is also trying to incorporate as many sustainable elements as they can. For example, the solar charging big belly trash cans are planned for all station platforms. Station canopies will be prepped for future solar panel installations. The project team is still working on landscape, branding, and roadway design to further develop the stations. Staff is also working with Raleigh Arts and the artist-in-residence, Dare Culture, to integrate art into the stations and station areas. But we need your help. Certain elements of the station are still under consideration. For example, do you prefer a single slope canopy or a double slope canopy? Lighting is also still under consideration. Two potential options for lighting include illuminating the underside of the station canopy with up lighting or providing staggered linear LEDs to give a sense of movement at the stations. Options for both dark and light painted steel are being considered. Certain elements of the BRT stations will be customizable. One of these customizable elements may be the materials applied to the bold vertical element. For example, there is an option for masonry or to incorporate metal paneling. Any materials used for BRT stations will be durable and easy to maintain. Tell us what you think about these station design options by taking one of the online surveys. Help us figure out these station design options by providing feedback on station design through any of the online surveys, or leave a comment at the virtual open house website through May 21st, 2021. Your input is important to us and will inform the design decisions. Thank you for viewing this presentation. For more information, please visit the virtual open house website at www.raleighnc.gov 
brt-open-house.